A warm welcome to Joburg Today. I'm Riley Sakwe. A first of its kind in South Africa, the Responsible Drinking Media Awards are there to acknowledge the journalistic efforts to educate the masses with regards to alcohol abuse and responsible drinking. Brand House, South Africa's leading total beverage company, created the Responsible Drinking Media Awards, which is a bid to celebrate journalists, both established and otherwise, on their contribution towards raising awareness about responsible drinking. had an excess of about 200 entries so you know the numbers are big but we can always welcome more I think media can always do more and we really do encourage other members of the media to to look at responsible drinking and drunk driving and the impact of alcohol abuse as topics for discussion look we've decided to have this uh, responsible drinking media awards uh, five years ago uh, primarily because we wanted to obviously bring in journalists into um, reporting about responsible drinking uh, in South Africa because we believe very strongly that in order for South Africans to understand uh, the messages particularly around um, you know, irresponsible drinking uh, we needed to be able to have uh, the you know, involvement of journalists who are going to report on the matter uh, very exclusively uh, so that we can really be able to educate and inform uh, our population about uh, irresponsible uh, drinking and the, and, the, and the effect that it has uh, on our society. Um, our article basically was from a casual conversation of how as girls sometimes we go out and we have a drink and you think it's harmless and how does it go from being one drink to being full-blown alcoholism? How much is too much, you know? My story, my article was about um, women who drink during pregnancy but also a woman who gave her young children alcohol because she was an alcoholic and she didn't want to drink alone and I follow the, her story on how she's managed to change now but all the challenges challenges of changing it and all the medical implications for her children and for an unborn baby. Journalists would obviously be nominated uh, and we invite the members of public to uh, nominate um, you know, stories that they've seen uh, in newspapers, on social media or they've heard on radio or they've seen on television um, and after a journalist has accepted the nomination uh, then that particular piece then goes into uh, the judging panel uh, which is an independent um, uh, panel uh, of experts who are in different sectors uh, of our economy so that they can then be able to evaluate uh, which are the best pieces uh, that have been produced by uh, journalists across uh, all different uh, forms of uh, platforms. We got several um, announcements from various companies saying that they were um, providing Take Me Home services for, for free for their customers. Um, but I really wanted to get down to the bottom of what exactly these Take Me Home services offered. Um, and For us it wasn't enough to just find out that, that they existed, but we wanted to know the financial costs, um, what actually happened after these um, Take Me Home services, um, all the free rides once they were over, um, and what people had to then pay afterwards. Um, and we really just wanted to drive the message home to our readers that these services were available to them for free um, if they belonged to certain reward schemes with banks and insurance companies. Um, the article, the, the segment that we did on the show is it was around blood alcohol limit. Um, we had a couple of experts on the show and then we invited our listeners, mostly young listeners, to phone in and say what they think the, the alcohol limit is and you'd be very shocked to see that none of them actually know what it is. Um, and then we went on and our stance on the show is we, we very much want to promote the, the alcohol limit for drinking and driving to be reduced to zero. The, the role that media play is so important and just to be able to reward them for that is, is really a, a big thing. So we, we always open for more entries. Stories, especially human interest stories about alcohol abuse aren't always front page stories in the newspaper industry anyway. And it's wonderful that um, that kind of reporting that actually is a very time consuming and a very skillful kind of reporting does get recognised that the only type of recognition is not just to have it on the front page. Congratulations to tonight's winners and we hope that their work continues to uplift and contribute to making us a better society. I'm Riley Sakani Posakwe for Joburg Today. Hi, my name is Gemma and you're watching Joburg Today. Join the conversation on our Facebook page, that's joburgtoday.tv. Follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. And if you're one of those people on the move, then pocket tv.mobi. That's pocket with an I. 
South Africa is one of only 62 countries worldwide where the entire blood supply is donated free of charge by volunteers. We attended the launch of Blood Donor Month. The South African National Blood Service launches Blood Donor Month here in Johannesburg and speaks on the levels of need and donation. It really is to celebrate all the blood donors that give their blood voluntarily and save lives. In South Africa, the demand is just over 3,000 units of blood every day, and about 20% of that will be used in the greater Johannesburg area. Every unit of whole blood we transport into our blood processing centers, we make up to three components. We make red cell products, we make plasma, and we make platelets from each unit. Now each one of those blood components is used to treat separate medical conditions. They also strive to raise awareness of the critical need that blood donors and their families meet. He was diagnosed with Burkitt's leukemia last year in March. The symptoms he had was severe pain in his legs, he got um, fever and was like lethargic all the time and at one point he lost 1.7 liters of blood in just three hours he was bleeding internally there were no platelets in Gauteng and um, so they sourced another province they put us on a red label list and they could find some platelets for him so in the end he survived and please go donate blood because you can actually save somebody's life. The theme this year is to encourage every recipient of blood or blood products to go out in social media or any platform that they have to actually say thank you to those anonymous blood donors that gave them the gift of love. Sandbus strives to constantly regenerate their wonderful network of donors, so make sure you get yourself on their list. I'm with Melorato Kwena for Jovic Today. Hi, I'm Samantha Jessamon and you're watching Joburg Today. Every now and then, we all need to escape the concrete jungle. So why not try this out? We take you through a series of exercises. They're mostly stretching exercises and what happens, we, we fatigue the body deliberately. And uh, what that does, it puts the body into involuntary shaking or natural uh, neurogenic tremors. These tremors uh, actually comes from the reptilian brain, the survival part of your brain. And uh, we, we instinctually have this uh, shaking mechanism in us. So all we're doing through these exercises is activating this natural shaking mechanism that's in our body. It's been very profound in releasing uh, all kinds of traumas and stress, uh, especially post-traumatic stress disorders, which, uh, which most of us suffer from after we've had a traumatic experience. And this is different from talk therapy. Uh, we're not going back and reliving our past or re-talking about our original trauma. All we're doing is trying to release that using our physical body. I think Joburg is needed. We sit in traffic and that's already, we've got adrenaline. You know, we, 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 we sort of fight to get from A to B and you know, are just getting there. And uh, I just think our lifestyles are different from the, the coast people. We're just getting around, it's, it's stressful. So I think we need it, and, and, and with all the incidents of all, all these traumas we, we're hearing about in the media and the papers and everywhere, um, I think it's so, we need to know about these, these tools that have come into this country. How it's helped me is that it's given my body a release of stress and tension, and I find that um, I'm not as tense as, um, as I used to be, and less stressed about things. I definitely just got out of my mind and just felt my body and I think that's a benefit to just get out of your mind and be present in your body. Already I can feel that. Who would have thought that in the hustle and bustle of Johannesburg one could ease the tension while relaxing? This is Sakani for Riley Sakwe for Joburg Today. Hi, my name is Peling. You are watching Joburg today. And that brings us to the close of today's show, but be sure to check out our playlist to see what's happening in and around your beautiful city. That's it from me, Riley. I leave you with Justin Sarau, Country. Back in ETV. City slickers and their suits with closed top cars and model moms Get a truck, you snob And try 
try something country So let's try something country Let's try something country yeah. No So Jimmy said I'm sorry but I gotta get away Far away Far away from here Oh yeah I'm moving to the country and eat me a lot of peaches. Moving to the country. And mama said, oh, you're gonna smoke all that dough. My bags are packed, I'm ready to go. And there's a girl I know in the country. Let's try something country Let's try something country And we'll try something country Yeah We're trying something country So you see me and my friends, we like to get out of Joburg and go to a little town called Parais, do some fishing and drinking, and we take a six string with us. So take me down to the river, take me down to the riverside, take me down to the river, no love, love, love. So take me down to the river. Take me down to the riverside You take me down So he quit his job and he sold his car and Met a girl on the way Now he lives in a house on the riverside On a farm in Paris Cause they tried, tried something country so let's try something country So just this once Let's try something country Let's try something country Let's try something country yeah. And we'll try something country Yeah Shut